This occupation is not trying to be a utopia. It is a living intercession and in the supplication of activism and protest. The symbolic tents do not let them take those tents away. Those tents are deeply symbolic. And it's like deeply ironic that St. Paul was a bloody tent maker. observations directed to the powers that be. Let me say this, there is a deep pattern of confrontation in what's going on here and what is found in, in terms of what happened to Jesus in the movement in there. Whether or not you're religious or not, forget this, but like just check out this parallel of what's happened. The first thing that they confronted Jesus about was around crucial legal issues and about purity regulations. They tried to tap him on health and safety issues. The second thing they tried to do was, yeah, the next thing was just on issues of social order and the protection of the temple. They basically closed the temple's doors and basically said, keep out, you don't belong here, we don't want you here. So that was the second thing they tried to tap him on. I'm nearly done. The third thing they tried to do was they basically said, we're the custodians of these conversations. The Bishop of London, Richard Charters, gets up and says, leave it all to me, hand it all to me, we'll, we'll take it in, we'll bring it in. Don't listen to that man. Do not listen to his lie. Do not listen to what he's saying. The conversation is not theirs. The conversation is ours. The last thing is, is that economic, political and religious leaders basically get together to regain control. That's what they've done. They tried health and safety. They tried to basically say, we need a bit of social order. It's all been very nice. All go home. They tried to take it back and say, this is our conversation, not your conversation. And then they basically sat down and said, that don't work. They then, what they do is they unleash, they try to undermine what you represent. They try to undermine it by empty tents. They try to undermine it by too many campfires or too many beers or whatever. They just will come at you in every single way possible. And the last thing that happens is institutional violence. And I think that's why that geezer basically resigned the other day, because he knows, he knows what they're brewing up. Yeah, there is institutional violence. So the last thing is, if they, all those things are happening, like it was in the first century, they're happening now, means you're making a change.